Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome or oh, welcome back to my channel. I'm Patrice and this is my Embellish Life. In this week's episode, it's all about Macaul 6706 and New Look 6266. I also will be sharing some quilting that I've been doing and also some possible sewing projects. So if that's something you're interested in, let's get in it. Before I get any further, I must apologize for not putting out a review last week. You know, it was just one of those weeks. Um, was it feeling 100%? And even though that I did record it, a video, I just wasn't feeling the outcome of it. So I decided, you know, let's take a week break and regroup and let's start all over again next week. So I'm back, I'm here, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk about what I've been up to while I was on a little hiatus. <laughs> um, I didn't do much um, sewing since um, my last sewing project, and that was what I'm going to present to you today, the Macaw 6706 and New Look 6266. I didn't sew any garments since those two um, garments that I did. But I've been doing some quilting. I've mentioned before that one of my um, my hobbies um, is quilting. And it's something that I started last year, even though it's something that I always wanted to do. I've always wanted to learn how to quilt for years, years. And uh, where I live, I'm not uh, um, fortunate enough to have access to at the time, um, quilting classes and, you know, stuff, other classes like that, um, which is understandable when you're dealing with a small community and a small population, it doesn't um, often afford you some of these uh, things. So I resorted to teaching myself how to quilt and I've been subscribed to other quilters on YouTube for years because my mission was I have to learn to quilt. I just love looking at quilted blankets. I love it. I love it. But last year, my local uh, fabric store, the owner for my local fabric store, she told me that she was going to start a quilting class and I was all for it. You know, I told her, you didn't even have to ask me if I'm interested. My name should have been the first on the list. You, you need to sign me up. <laughs> so I've been attending the class. I have no regrets and I've been enjoying it ever since. So the first quilt that we made I think when we started, it was in September, October of last year, I think. And the first quilt that we made was a log cabin um, quilt. And it was a, the size of a, of a wall hanging quilt. And since then, I've made another log cabin quilt. And I think this one was about the size of a full size bed. I haven't completed the entire project. I just did the top of the of the blanket, but I haven't put it together with the batting and the backing and quilted it and stuff like that. So that's still yet to be completed. But the topping is done. And now we are actually doing another quilt this, this year. And it's a mosaic, mosaic um, quilt. That's the name of the quilt. And... Uh, it's going pretty good. Now, for me, <laughs> I do not like uh, um, anything that is too scrappy. I'm not that person. So even though I like quilts, I do not like extremely scrappy quilts. I can appreciate the artwork of it and all of that, but it's just not my aesthetic. I'm somebody who loves organized scrap. Okay, so the quilt that we are working on right now, and I'll, and I'll pop a picture of it. Um, it's uh, more of a scrappy quilt. And uh, I don't love it, 
but I don't hate it. <laughs> it's been growing on me since I've been working on it, but I, I, I'm promising myself that I have to go back and do it because I'm that person that loves organized scrap. So if I have a, uh, uh, from blocks A to F, all of my block A is going to be one color B, C, D, E, F. You, you know, you know the deal. There's, there's a method to my madness, and that is how I like it. I like the color coordination and all of that. So I do plan to go back and make another quilt, but for now, I'm enjoying the process of making this quilt. I've already done the topping. Well, almost finished the top of it, and I'm about to add the borders. I'm excited to see the end product of it. So that's where I'm at with my quilting and I'm hoping to make some more quilts. I'm so, I'm so excited. And I've gotten into the rabbit hole of subscription boxes. <laughs> you know, that's a, that's a whole other game. That's a whole, a whole other story right there with these subscription boxes. Now for me, for all of my hobbies, I tend to want to acquire um, subscription boxes for that hobby. So for my beading and jewelry making, I do have a subscription box that comes to me every month. For my crochet and knitting, my, my knitting, it used to be knit create, but they are no longer available. So now I have to, I'm on a hunt for another um, knit and crochet subscription box. <laughs> And now for my quilted, I've done the rabbit hole and uh, I've just been getting these subscription boxes from cutting cuts and on the fat quarter cuts and creative notions and, and I love them all, I love them all. I really, really, really do. So with those subscription boxes now, I have all of these fat quarter fabrics and uh, half yard um fabrics that is just accumulated space <laughs> and I have to get rid of them but I find that one of the ways that I enjoy using them because let's be honest I am not going to be able to quilt everything and it's the same thing with the fabric my fabric stash I am not going to be able to use up everything and the scraps do accumulate when you're sewing as well so that is why I do enjoy making headbands I'm not wearing any today but I have been um, making some headbands and I haven't forgotten those individuals who have requested in a tutorial for the scrunchy headbands that I did. It's coming. <laughs> it's coming. Just give me a chance. It's, it's coming. <laughs> so I have been making some headbands out of the scraps as well. And that's something that I plan to show you um, next week uh, with the other headbands that I've been working on as well. So that is just a quick update of what I've been doing introducing you to my knitting and the other crafts that I've been doing other than sewing. But now it is time to get into probably what you actually came for this video for. And that is to see my cars 6706 and new look 6266. So let's go. In my last video, I think it was about two weeks ago, I introduced you all to my cars 6706. And at that time, it was a work in progress. And uh, it's completed. It's completed. And I am so loving the vibrant look and feel to it. And I am so pleased with the outcome. So my call 6706, it's a pleated, it's a box pleated skirt pattern. And the view that I decided to do was view B. And I'm so happy that um, with the decision that I made. The fabric that I used is actually is, uh, African fabric print. Well, that is what it was listed at as on uh, oh my goodness it was fabric wholesale direct i think that's what the name is it was my first time purchasing from uh, 
from this company ever since fabric.com which was my main um my main fabric pusher <laughs> ever since they decided to close i've been searching for other online fabric stores and i've noticed that this fabric store have been being mentioned by other people so i said let me give them a try and i'm so sold <laughs> i am so sold i do have a fabric haul that is coming up because i did some damage in purchasing some fabric from this particular company and another new to me company as well so that is another video that should be coming up shortly in the next coming weeks but anyway i digress it was absolutely a pleasure to use this fabric now it's a cotton fabric and i paired it with um, some plain corner cotton fabric from robert, robert kaufman and i got this fabric from uh, my local fabric store where i live and i just love the blocking effect that uh, that happened with it i do love a good color block i do let's talk a bit about uh, macaw 6706 now as i said the view that i did was view B and uh, the pattern calls for six pieces. Now the beauty of this uh, um, particular skirt and what sets it apart from uh, your normal skirt is that it is sewn in panels. So as you can see from the color blocking, there are one, two, three, four, five, about five different panels uh, before the waistband. So the skirt is actually sewn in panels before you put together the skirt. And there's a side zip. So with the skirt being sewn in panels, uh, it takes longer for the skirt to be put together because you're putting together the panels first and then you're stitching the your, your your stitching the skirt seams together putting a zipper and all of those stuff after so it does take a bit uh, a little longer but the pattern it's so easy it's so simple to understand you would love it i do recommend this to a confident beginner love it now my downfall of this particular skirt and i know you guys know what i'm going to say is that there are no pockets there are absolutely no pockets and uh, not for the lack of trying on my behalf because you know when when i get patterns that doesn't have pockets usually i just add the pockets and it's it's neither here nor there with me if i want pockets i add pockets but with this particular skirt it was quite difficult for me to add a pocket without doing major adjustment that I just wasn't up to doing. I'm so sorry. And this skirt, because it's, the panels are cut on a fold, okay? So the, the, the panels are cut on the fold and then the zipper is at the side. So usually what would happen if the, the panels wasn't cut on a fold, I would have, uh, you know, moved the zipper from the side and put it at the back and then just add the, the pockets at the side. But because they were cut on the fold, I couldn't, I couldn't do that without doing the adjustment of having to create a center back, which was another old set of cutting and adjustments and doing all that shifting. And I just wasn't in the mood. I, I don't have time for that. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. So I opted not to have the pockets this time. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good in the neighborhood over here. So that was the only downfall of this pattern. Now, I did cut a size 16. And I sew with a half seam allowance for this skirt. And the fit is absolutely perfect. It is I love it. I do love it. I don't have any complaints with it. Now with this skirt, I must say, if you're going to sew this skirt, please pay attention to your markings because you do have quite a bit of markings to transfer from the pattern to the fabric. 
because the skirt is pleated. So you do have to pay attention to where your pleats are and the direction in which they are telling you to fold the pleats. So that's one thing that you have to pay attention to. What I also do, and this is something that I al always do when I'm sewing pleated skirts, is that uh, I tend to sew the pleat down about uh, maybe two or three inches down the, the shaft of the pleat. Uh, and that just uh, helps me to just uh, keep a smooth, uh, a smooth front and there's no puckering of pleats uh, in, uh, in my abdominal region. And, uh, and stuff like that. It just gave me a smooth, uh, a smooth front. So I've stitched down my pleats uh, about, I think it was three inches. I think it's three inches down the shaft of each pleat. And then I've let the rest of the pleat flare down the length of it. So that's something that I did. I can't say enough uh, of uh, of this pattern i didn't have any difficulties with this pattern at all yeah. <laughs> no i didn't so it's a pattern that i would highly recommend to anybody to sew and if you're just getting into skirts this pattern is absolutely easy easy written instructions they are easy to understand once you can uh, um, so in a straight stitch and you're comfortable with um, installing a zipper, you're good to go because that's the only notion and that's the only technical thing per se that you will have to do to this uh, dress. So definitely a must have and yes, I will sew this again. How many stars are we giving it today? Five out of five, yes. Now with this skirt, I knew that I wanted to make an entire outfit. And since I'm feeling the crop top lately, I decided that I wanted to do a, a crop top, but more of a button down uh, um, shirt that, uh, that was cropped. And uh, I decided to go with New Look 6266. Now this pattern, I made it, uh, um, Back in, I think it was September of last year, I made a, a top out of it. And the view that I did last year was view C. And that's the view that I decided to do. I'm just looking for the pattern. <laughs> that's the view that I decided to do again um, this time around. And we got some things to say about this uh, this, this pattern, even though I sewed it up before <laughs> and I was absolutely pleased with the results before, but we got some things to discuss with this one this time around. Now the fabric that I use for this top, and you can see it's all here in its ravishing glory. <laughs> the fabric I decided to, that I wanted more of a, I wanted a denim top to go with this, uh, to, to go with this skirt because it was so vibrant and already out there. I thought that the denim would have kind of toned it down a bit and give it a more, you know, casually flirty feel that, that I'm loving at the moment. So I had some denim fabric that I used and I decided to do some blocking with some chambre fabric. And I think that uh, it came out uh, the way that uh, I had envisioned. The pattern is easy to sew. I will tell you it's easy to sew. Um, it doesn't require much pattern pieces. I think I had, um, um, let's see, I don't want to tell you lies, <laughs> let's count. We had one, two, three, four, five pieces. So it's five pattern pieces and it's easy to put together I would say that however I had a mishap I did have a mishap and I don't know if it was because I at the time I was sewing it was past midnight you know you should never sew when you're tired but I just was on a, an adrenaline and I wanted to see the completed look so bad and I wanted to complete it and I just couldn't stop and I think that may be, I don't know, but we're going to talk about it. The mishap that I had was with the collar. Okay. 
and i must mention when i saw this shirt last september i had the same problem with the collar and so so much that when i saw the the collar the last time i abandoned the color instructions that were provided in uh, in this pattern and i resorted using the the color instructions from the chai dress from itch to stitch <laughs> so that's what happened the last time and that was how i was able to to um complete the top the first time so knowing that the last time i didn't even look at the color instructions again to see whether or not it was just my interpretation the last time or what i to be honest i didn't even look at it i jumped straight to using the the color instructions for the chai dress from each to stitch no the strangest thing that happened and i i know it's it's a human error because i've i've used that color instructions on more than one occasion with no problem tell me why <coughs> And this time around, do I have one color that is longer than the other? Can you see it? One color is slightly <laughs> longer, longer than the other. And I am not sure what happened. I think that I may have a uh, uh, missed a notch somewhere and it wasn't aligned properly and the sad thing about it is that um, I didn't notice this until the, the shirt was completed and I was trying it on the following day <laughs> and I kept in the middle just adjusting the color wondering why I'm so t twisted and crooked and I'm like looking at in all sorts of weird angles and I'm like why do I feel so twisted and come to find out that my color is slightly slightly off and I was so distraught I was so upset to the point that I didn't even put my name tag in my label in in the shirt because I'm like oh no 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 my first fail for the year I was so ready to call this a fail <laughs> because I was so upset and another thing too when I tried it on at the time is that I wasn't pleased at the time with the end result as well it has grown on me since I love it now but at the time it to me, it just, because I'm not flat chested, okay? Let's be honest, I'm, I'm not flat chested. So how I envision the, the end product of lying closer to my body, it just wasn't giving me that because of my chest. So it raised it higher than I wanted. And because the fabric is denning and it's more structured and it's more stiff, it, it kind of sticks out even further from my body and I wasn't, uh, entirely loving that effect but it has grown on me since I've, I've worn it and took some pictures in the outfit and it it, it has grown on me i must say <laughs> but i do intend to go back and fix this color because this will just drive me crazy i don't want to be cooking in these streets going <laughs> so that was the mishap that i did have with uh, with this shirt as i mentioned i cropped the top yes i did and uh, i uh, ended up going two inches below my um shorting and lengthen line and uh, i do love the length uh, let's be clear about that i do i do love the length uh, and i'm happy with that uh, so that's what i did one change that i did well it's not really a change but uh, it's different from what the pattern suggested and that is with the notions instead of using um buttons i added i added snaps and when i made the shirt the first time i also added snaps instead of the buttons and 
that was because the first time that was during the period when Lola, my sewing machine, I call her Lola, she copped an attitude on me and she stopped working and I had to take it to my repair guy to be fixed. And uh, I just wanted to complete the shirt because I wanted to wear it. So I attached, um, I attached some snaps to it. And I found that I enjoyed the outcome on that shirt. So I decided to do it again for this top now i must say that i do have to go back and readjust uh, i think two two of the snaps uh, that they are not aligned completely how i wanted so lucky thing there's no buttonhole so it's not like take what you get at we are done here <laughs> i can adjust i can go back and align it better so it can be smooth and I also do have to align not align but add the snaps to my collar because I do love when my collars are actually snapped on to the shirt I love that look I do not like my collars sticking out that way I'm not the flying nun we don't do that over here so that's that's just some adjustments that I do have to do to this shirt but all in all I am so pleased with the shirt now <laughs> now let, let's be straight let's be clear um, i'm happy with it now and i know that i'll be further pleased with it once i um take off the collar and i do that adjustment to to make sure it's aligned properly and how i how i like it so all in all the pattern was very simple to make and the instructions minus the color and like i said it could have been my interpretation at the time or still is my interpretation um minus the color was uh, very easy you might uh, try it and say well i don't have i didn't have any problems with it pat it's you <laughs> <laughs> and I'm willing to accept that. <laughs> but all in all, the pattern is easy. And I would encourage anyone if they're looking for a sleeveless short, button on short pattern, that this is the way to go. That New Look 6266 um, is a winner. How would I rate this pattern? I think because I had that mishap with the color and the color instructions for me, I would give this uh, a three out of five. Uh, yes, I will, sadly. But that doesn't mean that I wouldn't make it again. I like but because I've uh, made this color pad. I mean, not color pattern. I've made this shirt before. I just did don't adhere to their color instructions. But I would give it a few out of five because of those instructions. But I would still encourage anybody to get the pattern i'm not sure if it's still available on simplicity website but i know it's easily found on etsy and ebay so if you don't have it in your stash get it and sew it up now before i say that a lot of hair i just want to talk quick 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 just for a minute or two about some possible sewing plans that i do have <laughs> april is my birth month my birthday is on the 18th of april and uh, I do want to make some special outfits for my birthday. Now for me, the week of my birthday, I, in, I celebrated for that whole entire week. So I do want to make some, some outfits to wear for my birthday week. <laughs> I don't have any plans yet on where I'm going, but I know I'm ready to plan for my birthday. Yes, I've survived another year, and it's another year that I know many people have not lived to see, and I am grateful to be on this earth again. So, I am celebrating my, my birthday. So, I do have, uh, I do desire to make maybe three or four outfits. Now, I must say that uh, I've already have one outfit completed and that's uh, the outfit that I would wear to church the Sunday of, uh, the, of, of my birthday. So if I do go to church, that outfit is completed and you've already seen it. It's the jumpsuit pattern that, uh, that I did a few weeks back. That's, that's the outfit that I'm going to wear for my, my birth, the week of my birthday, the Sunday. So I do have three more 
outfits that I want to do. Now, one of the outfits, I have this idea in mind that I do want a, a, a bubble dress. And I have a similar um, balloon dress that I wore um, a few weeks ago. And I find that I do love the effect that it gave me um, as well. So I said I wanted to make a bubble dress, a bubble halter dress as one of the outfits for my birthday. Now, at that time, <laughs> I didn't realize that I had a bubble halter dress pattern in my pattern stash. This is what happens when you have a lot of patterns. You don't know what's there for what's not. And then you're all over the place looking for this and that and the other and trying to sketch. And although I have a lot of crafts <laughs> and I'm talented in, in those arena, drawing is not, I was not blessed with that talent. We are talking stick people massive over here. <laughs> So in my head, in my, in my head, I had this idea that I was going to hack one of the halter dress patterns that I already have into a bubble dress. So I was doing my research and I found some YouTube videos that I like that gives um, detailed instruction of how to make uh, the bubble dress. And I'm like, yes, Pat, we're ready to go. Let me look for a halter dress pattern now. And lo and behold, when I went into my, my pattern stash now, this resurrected. <laughs> At its simplicity, 3823. It just popped up and it said, I'm here. I'm here. Now, what you gonna do, Pat? What you gonna do? So I picked it up and I'm like, well, since you're here, I don't have to do any hacking. I'm just going to, I'm going to use uh, the, the bubble dress uh, pattern from simplicity, 3823, and it's view D. But I, don't think I, that I want the bodice for that uh, uh, for this pattern. I prefer the um, the bodice from Butterick four five one two view A. So I think I might match this bodice with uh, the bottom the the bubble skirt and see what I get. Oh, I might just leave it and just do Butterick four five one two. Um, as another outfit. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but that's what um, I'm toying with uh, right now for one of my birthday dresses. Uh, um, and I do have to start as early as possible because I'm not uh, the fastest sewer. Um, I'm, I'm just going to be honest. I do admire my, my other sewers and sewers out there who, who tells me that, you know, I have this event in the next four hours and I whipped out this just before, then I'm like, mm, must be nice. <laughs> I'm not one of those people. It takes me about a week to, to complete a, an outfit or a piece of garment. And it is what it is. I just know that I do, if I have plans for anything, that I do have to start early. So this is what I'm planning to, to work on. Some of my next projects that I'm, that I'm going to work on. I'm not sure of the fabric yet. I do have to go in my stash and I do have other fabric that is coming in. <laughs> A haul is coming. A haul is coming. That's all I'm going to say. So I'm going to see what's available in my stash and when those start become what I do have to see what I want uh, this, uh, this garment to be. But please do believe she would be fire. <laughs> so that is all that I have to share with you today, lovies. I hope you enjoyed spending some time with me yes i did miss you guys i did miss you guys and i thank you so much for um the subscribers that i'm i'm, I'm gaining so far i am so i am so grateful for each and every one of you also as you have um noticed have uh, um 
in my titles you will see a hashtag that says Friday Souls and that is because I um, have joined some group of makers and sewists under that hashtags and with our love for just sewing and creating and all of that and it has been created by today's in gen sewing zoom and so i thank her for the opportunity to be a part of this i realized that i've never done it before how rude where is my manners i wasn't raised in a barn oh no so i do encourage you to search that hashtag and have a look at the other makers under that hashtag you won't regret it all right lovies i hope you enjoyed everything that you saw today i hope you enjoyed um my call 6706 and we look 6266 also hope that you enjoyed my little uh, talk uh, about my my um quilting and my future works in progress i hope you enjoyed all of that don't forget to like comment and subscribe all right i hope you have a lovely week enjoy your day think lovely thoughts make beautiful things Keep on smiling, all right? <laughs> all right, everyone. Bye.